Thank you, Matt. So before my panelists get ready for the microphones, uh, let me introduce myself a bit. Um, I'm Bei Zhang. I'm director of the Oriental Education Institute. So uh, we were um, initiated by our chairman, Mr. Michael Yu, last June. Um, we have the first batch of our entrepreneurship program since last August. So uh, we, what we do, we provide entrepreneurship programs, we uh, provide workshops, and we provide uh, networking opportunities to our um, educators. Um, we are working towards to build up this community where you know, every entrepreneur and every educator can learn and grow. Um, some of uh, our uh, panelists actually in the AI session are actually um, from our very first batch, uh, including Mr. Ching, uh, Mr. Chen, and uh, Mr. Yuan. Um, so are our uh, panelists ready? Okay, so um, it's my honor to introduce our um, panelists representing K-12 and STEAM education to join me. So Mr. Saim Gun from Aerospace Maker. <coughs> Mr. David Wu from Hi-Fi Babies Women. Mr. Yu Hao Wang from AHA School. Yes, please come on stage. And Mr. David Shen from GEC Academy. So um, I'd like to ask everyone to use just one minute to introduce yourself and your companies. Okay, uh, I'm Sam Gun, the founder of Aerospace Maker. Uh, it's my first uh, to speak English in a panel. Uh, it's so hard to me, uh, but uh, everything has beginners. Uh, I will try. My company uh, focuses on aerospace, uh, science and technology, if, uh, education. Uh, we provide uh, STEM, we provide uh, STEM courses, aerospace labs, and uh, space camps to uh, first school and uh, students. Uh, New Oriental is one of our inventors. Uh, and uh, we ranked the top 20 aerospace companies in China last year. Uh, we work with about uh, 100 uh, uh, schools and more than 10,000 uh, st students now. Okay, that's all. Thank you. David. Hello, everyone. I'm David Wu, founder of HiFi. HiFi is the leader in China baby swimming. HiFi covers uh, family, uh, family to children from zero to nine. Hi-Fi clothes cover baby swimming, echo yoga, echo family classes, uh, baby gym. Mm, Hi-Fi has 60 centers, Hi-Fi has more than 60 centers, mm, including uh, three covers, uh, three overseas centers in uh, London and Cambridge. Uh, it's, it's two ways to introduce me. Uh, I'm a schoolmaster, but without any the national the license. Uh, we sell utilized uh, courses to the millions of chi China uh, child. Uh, we like uh, the Coursera. We like Kohan uh, Kemde. Uh, we may like the Baidu's in India. So it's hard to describe to a hard school. The, the second way is, you know, uh, I believe to facing the future, the China, the kids, the children, they, they need actually the creative the ability, uh, the creative the thinking. Uh, so the Charlie Munger says, everyone needs a multi-thinking model. So we, we supply like the journey to the top 10 museum, uh, jury of the top 10 uh, the, the college. 
the mastery of the human body, those kind of the causes to the, uh, by now we have 1.1 million the Chinese kids. They are learning or they have learned those kind of causes in AHA school. So AHA school came from the AHA movement. Uh, this is also my outlook for the education. We want to help millions and millions, maybe the hundred millions Chinese kids are growing to facing the future. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is David Shen, the founder of GEC Academy. Uh, GEC Academy is the online platform to design the project-based learning courses for the students from middle school, high school, and junior college. Um, we design the project-based and research-based students, uh, the program for the students who want to you know, prepare for the college application for the uh, university and college in, in, in the Western countries. Uh, before funding GEC Academy, I was getting the uh, uh, master's degree from Columbia University. I had uh, three years living in New York City, in Manhattan, and several years working experience in the Silicon Valley. And I had the, uh, you know, uh, living and working experience in both China and States. So I'm going to share my own story later to figure out the differences between, like, the uh, education industry, especially for K-12 in China and States. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, looks to me, you guys provide services across all ages. And I heard from um, High Five that, you know, the, the youngest kid to come to High Five is like 18 days. So is, that, is that normal? Uh, the average age of students who join us is when they only uh, four months. Uh, what High Five teaches is beyond swimming. High Five res uh, respect every child's competitive and will. Through all, through all kinds of fun and uh, challenging games in the water, uh, we provide boarding opportunities for pen, uh, for painters and children. Uh, through our overseas centers, our curriculum are developed internationally. Uh, children improve their global views through a lot of them from different uh, culture. Uh, they can understand and appreciate other better. Uh, children naturally get along with the water. More and more young family believe more exercise under water can make children cooperate with each other, uh, feel their bodies and build up their confidence, have more frustration resistance balance and uh, the boarding with their parents. Uh, these are their life wells. Yeah. Thank you. you know, I, I wish my kids can, can, would, can go you know, when they were young. So you know, um, I had a many you know, struggles since I have two kids. Um, when they grow up, I always have these questions, you know, how we show raise our kids, when, how to prepare them to face the future. And there are so many choices, there are so many options that we can choose from the nowadays programs. And the Aryan Space Maker is kind of one of the most, uh, new, the newest to us that, wow, there is something out there, you know, you can really study the aerospace. So um, I'm very curious that, you know, what are the products? Okay. Uh, every child is uh, uh, crazy about uh, space. I'm one of them. Uh, since I was young, I learned space, uh, I learned space about uh, uh, science banks, uh, customers, and movies. It's the best thing for me to create aerospace maker, uh, where we can teach children how to launch a real satellite. Uh, how we teach, for example, uh, is a satellite, is a resellable uh, satellite. Wow, oh. is that real? Yeah, uh, students can design it, uh, launch it, and uh, resell it. Uh, uh, it can be sent into two kilometers, and uh, during uh, in the depending uh, process, uh, students can 
uh, can monitor the information about the satellite, such as temperature, GPS information, X. Uh, every time in the class, a uh, student will think, wow, it's so cool. Uh, another, uh, another example, we send a satellite at, uh, the spa uh, into the space at January. Uh, and I ask uh, students to, uh, to, 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 <laughs> and I ask uh, students to uh, put their Python program into the satellite every week. Uh, and uh, all the fans in the world can receive the result. The students were very excited uh, because their program is running on space. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it covers our students uh, to, uh, in the sense of achievements a lot. Okay. Thank you. I think you know, every boy would, okay. would love to do that. Um, I also have the question to uh, Mr. Wang, Mr. Yuhao Wang. Um, you know, um, what are the specialties that you think in your products and the programs which are facing you know, Chinese young families? Okay. Uh, the, the, the last panel was talking about AI. So I think AI is much important. But the, the most important thing for uh, you know, Chinese families, if they have to, they must have to the worldwide, world class the outlook about education. Because like the parents, like us, uh, we are the you know, the, the communist party, the education system. We have to follow the rules. We have to be a standard product. But some of us, like J.K. Ma, they are not uh, those kind of the standard product. They have their view or they have, you know, a kind of the, the ability is different from us. So I think uh, the most important thing is to let every uh, student, every family knows uh, every child is unique. We have to help them to discover and uh, develop their uniqueness. So for a high school, it's a 20 months uh, the young school. Uh, the story is from a father to be a schoolmaster. Uh, I talked to my daughter 20 months ago and she wants to uh, ask me to bring to the best museum around the world. So I want to find a money saving way to do that. So I create uh, uh, online the courses and I, I sell it as a crowdfunding way, like the Pinjo Door. Uh, it's totally amazing. A, a thousand, a thousand, actually, it's, uh, 100,000 families they join the plan. So start from the top museum. Right now we have close to the 2,800 of those kind of courses online. It's like uh, the Kaha uh, Cam Day, but we, we charge. We charge for the each cost like the uh, several dollars. Uh, so last year we have very good income. It's over like a the, the, the seven US, billion, million US dollars income. So I, I was so surprised because this company was not being designed. It's, it's just the coming out, it's the, the surprise. So I mean, I understand, I know more and more families, you know, we have to really believe and help the children to develop the unique needs because there are only one number one in each class. So looking uh, forward in the next five years, 10 years, uh, we want to help every child or probably 80% of them, more than 80% of them to have a courage, they feel the confidence. And uh, they can swimming, or while playing all kind of the each magic tube, what, what kind of things, but they have the confidence. Uh, they will join the, 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 the future. I mean, the, the future definitely will like the network structure, the society. Mm -hmm. They be one point of it. They have their uh, unique value. So that, that, that's what I saw.
Thank you. I think you know everyone in the room and everyone in the summit <clears throat> would would agree that you know we need more personalized education instead instead of the standardized one. So, um, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Shen, um, GEC Academy, you know, uh, it's probably very popular or easy to understand in states what you guys do. But is that true in China? And uh, you know, probably from your own personal experience, you can share with us. You know, how do you do this? Right. Um, thank you. I saw um, our target students are the oldest students on on, on the stage, because we are targeting the students from grade seven to grade twelve. A uh, grade, uh, yeah, grade twelve uh, will be the oldest. So, um, so the purpose of the GSO Academy PBL program is to accomplish a shift from contents to skills, and to help the students to make the well preparation for the college application and future undergrad study in um, overseas uh, from China. Not only from, uh, uh, from states, but also from other you know, Western countries. Uh, recently, we, we, we realized that you know, uh, from the past two decades, um, Chinese or the traditional concept from the Chinese family or Chinese students to say, test a score only, right? Coming back to my personal experience, uh, more than 10 years ago, when I was preparing the college application in the States, I was like, just you know, prepare the uh, SAT test and GPA. That's the only points I was preparing at that time. So when I came to university uh, in Columbia, in New York City, it was in 114th Street in Manhattan, you know, Big Apple, and everybody was like networked there. And the first session I took on Columbia campus back to more than 10 years ago was tell you how to be a social person and how to make the well preparation for like networking and study, right? So that, that is the major difference. And I realized that was the, you know, um, the, the lack of the, the experience I took when I was in China. So um, after, 10 years and I, I, I want to you know, move forward the concept to tell the parents, the students, the educators in China to realize that the test score is not your only standard. I, I should say it's very important, but I have to raise their, you know, uh, uh, a word from, from Stanford University of Mission Office to say intellectual vitality, okay. Because uh, because we'll have some audience here in Chinese, so we'll be in Zhili the Huo Du. Okay, so intellectual vitality is to tell the students how to make the well preparation. So, for the past three years, we were collaborating with the faculty from the top thirty university and college from from, you know, all around the world to design the research and project based learning courses online for the students from middle school and high school, and to I I I should second the the, the the, the opinion from Mr. Wang and Mr. Gong that we want to uh, create a uniqueness for the students to make their future application. And I should say, to getting the, the offer from the university is not their final goal, but it's a milestone, right? Because you have to complete your undergrad study and future career path. So uh, we have done like the, you know, more than 300 different projects and different topics. To, uh, to be associated with the existing core system like IB, A-level, IP, and IGCSE. And I thought that, you know, um, someone will be familiar with the international core system, like, because for uh, IB, DP, and I MYP, they have their personal project, and they have the uh, part of the, you know, uh, project or, or critical thinking uh, program in the existing core system. So that is what we are doing. Okay. Thank you. Um, so when we are thinking of K-12 and STEAM education, uh, we are thinking of English, you know, we are thinking of, of math and science classes, but what you guys do is quite unique in different sectors that you guys are in. So um, my last question would be, you know, to share with us, why do you think you guys can have such, you know, success in China and why China? Maybe you can start with Mr. Wu. Uh, Chinese parents, uh, open-minded and willing to try and pay. 
they have already realized the interpretation of great physics and fitness. Uh, we have been constantly investing in the curriculum development. And uh, I'm very proud HiFi now have the world-class courses and can, more, uh, can help more children in their early lives. Thank you. Mr. Sam? OK. Uh, for example, a student in Bay school, when he started, uh, he was grade 8. And uh, he is not the top student in his class. And uh, uh, he didn't know what to do in the future. Uh, he found his passion in aerospace. And uh, uh, in order to solve the problems, he improved his math, uh, physics, and leadership. And uh, he was admitted to Tsinghua University, uh, the, best, uh, uh, the best engineer in university in China last year. And uh, this is and, uh, uh, this what has been driven me to among the way. Uh, and uh, I hope with the Chinese young family, uh, we will have our Chinese vision, Elon Musk, uh, in the very near future. And uh, I do believe, think, it will happen very soon, very soon. Thank okay. you. Thank you. It's a, it's a real example. Thanks for sharing. You guys have anything to add? Yeah. Uh, in Chinese, there is a saying called 时势造英雄. The trade made heroes. So like for the new yes. Oriental, uh, it's established in last century, the 90s, because the China's the door was open. So a lot of the young Chinese people, they want to go to the overseas. Uh, 10 years later, there are another the big uh, the, the, the education group was the Tomorrow Advanced Life. Uh, they're based on the, uh, the college in China. They extend their the, 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 uh, the quantity to get some more students. Um, but, but now, I think it's the third trend for every Chinese. Uh, we are in, uh, uh, coming into a general education uh, age. Uh, in the last 70 years, you know, we uh, got the, the education system actually from Slovenia, uh, Sulian, yes. Yeah. It's, uh, we call it Jiao Yu. Right now, the PBL, uh, like David said, uh, it's actually happened a lot of the international uh, schools in China. Uh, and the students, they, they know they have to have the cross bodily uh, uh, learning the, 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 the habit or the system. So th that's the real opportunity for each of us, for all the, the new the startup the education companies. So I, I believe that Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll answer the question why China. OK. Um, initially, GC Academy was founded on Columbia campus um, back to like um, 2012. And we were only providing the courses for the students from uh, East Coast, from New Jersey, from uh, New York State, and, and Massachusetts those days. But we came back to China in 2016, because we realized that. I'm, I'm going to give you some, some data. Like uh, in 2018, uh, in China, we have roughly 60,000 uh, 60, uh, 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 students to apply for the uh, uh, international uh, overseas program and, and university and college. So uh, we realized that it will be a high demand for the Chinese students to raise their, their, their academic background through the project-based learning program. And um, at the same time, I will give you another data. Uh, in China, for two, 2018, we have 1,045 international schools in total in China mainland, except uh, uh, Taiwan and, 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 and Hong Kong. The international school are adopting the international course system, including IB, uh, A-level, and uh, AP. I thought for CIE Cambridge International ex uh, Assessment uh, Education, we have roughly 300 schools in total. 
So, uh, which means that more and more students are preparing uh, for the future application. That has the high demand to uh, get the uh, project-based learning program to prepare for their application. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So uh, before you guys know, I'd like to make an announcement that uh, you know, our entrepreneurship program, the second batch from this year to uh, next year, is going to uh, recruit or going to start the admission process very soon. Um, we run weekend courses that you know, if you are interested or your friends are interested in uh, spending a few weekends in Beijing, you know, please contact us. We are very welcome you guys to come over to Beijing. Um, we are very happy to be here. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.